In this tutorial, I'm going to take another look at the Blend for Web Material Library, clicking the Material Structure link. All the library materials have a no tree, and at the heart of the tree, number one, is the Material Core. The Blend for Web team have separated the nodes that apply to a specific model They've grouped together all the nodes that apply to any model in the material core. If we look at the example of the gypsum material core, to see inside and to edit the group, node, edit group, shortcut key tab, and there are over 20 nodes in the group. To use a material from the library, you can add only the material core, and that's what I'll be looking at in this tutorial. I'm going to apply the material to my model of a King Chess piece. You can download the model from my website, or you can apply the material to any model. Change Blender Render to Blend for Web. In the Render Settings, click Set Recommended Options. Drag to make the timeline window bigger and change the window into a node editor window. Click the material button, click the material nodes button. We now have a choice where we click the new material button. I'll click it in the node editor and I'll click use nodes. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and scroll. Click the browse material button and select the material. Move the nodes to the right. To add the gypsum core material, file, append, go to the Blend for Web folder, the Blender folder, Material Library, Natural, click on the gypsum file to go into it, into the No Tree folder, click on the core material and append, then Add, group, and you should see the core material, and add the node. We can connect the outputs from the material core to the material, but we haven't got a UV map to feed into it. To make a UV map, go into edit mode, Change the window to a UV image editor window. In the mesh menu, UV unwrap, smart UV project. Accept the defaults and click OK. And we've made a UV map called UV map. I'm going to edit the UV map to give a better map to the gypsum texture. Press A to select all, S to scale, 3 and enter. Go back into object mode and change the window back to a node editor. To input the map, use a geometry node, add input geometry. Click on the UV map field and select the map, although if there's only one map, it'll default to it anyway, and connect that up. The result doesn't look that different to simply applying the normal map to the model. The normal map gives the textured surface. If we look at the Material Library's Gypsum Blender file, the material looks great. If we look at the node tree, there is the gypsum core. There are a lot of extra nodes, including model-specific maps like worn maps and dirt maps. The Blend for Web logo model has a slightly simpler node tree and does use a different specular shader. Going back to the King Chess piece and changing the specular shader only makes a small difference. The big trick for great looking materials is model specific maps which requires more work and more expertise.
That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stick man. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.